In Unit 1, Lesson 4, students will be building pyramid-shaped pendulum stands. Some students will have the opportunity to build with a straw and pipe cleaners. And there is definitely a reason why we use straws and pipe cleaners, because it's a very easy build. But if you don't have a straw and you don't have the pipe cleaners, you can use other objects. This is a pyramid made from barbecue bamboo sticks. And right now, I'm going to make one from chopsticks left over from dinner. So, you need chopsticks and rubber bands. Think of threes each time you do a step here. So the first thing that you're gonna do is take three chopsticks and rubber band the tops together. Maybe leave a little, about a half an inch up at the top. Keep thinking threes and keep thinking triangles because really what you're gonna do right now is with each chopstick, you're going to be building another triangle. So let's take these two and build a triangle with this next chopstick. First, attach this end. Now you're going to attach that side. Think triangle. The rubber bands work really well because they bend and they move a little bit and that adds flexibility to help you build your triangle. So next, let's build a triangle from these two. I'm going to attach that end. So this right here is going to become the base for that triangle. You can just add onto the twists of the rubber band or if you want, add another rubber band. If you have them, you might as well use them. So I've got now one triangle, two triangles, and really the only thing that's missing is this triangle that I'm gonna use for the base. So I'm gonna use another rubber band to attach those. And I'm gonna suggest that you rubber band all three of your dowels or of your chopsticks to add a little strength. And then finally, I've got this last one. I'm gonna hold that there. This looks like it's gonna slip right. This looks like it's gonna slip right off, so. Don't get frustrated. It's kind of tricky. Okay. That's my pyramid. If you're making one of these at home, you might not have a magnet to use for your pendulum. I have a binder clip that I've tied a string to. As long as you have an object that has weight to it, it's gonna make a great pendulum. So I'm going to just tie that around the top. I'm going to take my masking tape and tape down the extra string right there. And there's my pendulum.